Good day. My name is Patrick Salato and I'm Director of Project Management here at Dolphin Data Capture. Today we are going to be speaking about a scan and print that's going to uh, utilize a zebra printer and a zebra barcode scanner. So the overall application is that we have a customer who wants to be able to read a 2D code and then extract particular information out of that code and have it directly printed by the zebra printer and in this case the three key pieces of information they're interested in is the hospital name, the patient name, and a test result. And this label will be pulled off and applied to the test kit when it's completed. And they'd like to do this without an extra PC or laptop involved and we're able to do that with this particular equipment. So right now what we're going to be using is a ZD421 printer. This is a direct thermal model. I use the uh, quick reference guide, the quick start guide to quickly load the media that was ordered with the uh, unit and it also comes with your power supply and your USB cable and that's for programming uh, the unit before getting going. And in this situation the scanner we're going to be using is a DS8108 excellent hardwired scanner. We're using it with um, a US, uh, I'm sorry, an RS-232 connection, believe it or not, and we're using the optional ZD420 serial module. And of course, what we did here was we installed the module, right there you'll see it, the 9-pin D, and uh, simply removed the plastic cover, inserted the uh, RS-232 board following appropriate ESD uh, precautions, of course, and then we're able to put the new door that came with it, uh, that new cover, into that place. So that's all set up, and now what we're going to do is the first thing to get going is that you need to program the printer. So I've rebooted the printer. Let me turn it back on again. The, the printer is booting up, as you can see. Um, it, the light will turn green at a certain point. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Zebra Printer Setup Utilities that is a free download from Zebra. We're going to select our printer and we're going to make sure and we're going to go in and we're going to address dot paper size which is uh, done already. It's, this is the correct width and height of the label stock that we're using. And I'm just going to open up communications really quick. And we've worked out specific code uh, for the ZD421 printer. This is called ZPL uh, coding language. And we've went through and we've created, uh, what we're doing here is we're going to create a file inside the printer and we're going to call out the location, the font size, and what information is going to be pulled out of the barcode. And basically what happens here is we send this to information to the printer and then the printer will have it on file as you can see, we have a green LED now. The printer will be on file. Uh, we'll have the file inside, and this is the template for the barcode. Uh, I'm sorry, for the label. In this particular instance, there are no barcodes being uh, added onto the label. They simply want uh, human readable text on the label. So now that that's done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook up the RS-232 printer. I'll turn it off for a second now that everything has been installed properly. And of course I've made sure that uh, the printer does have, um, was fully reset, factory reset before we started, so I'm not going to run into any unforeseen issues. This, this was being tested in the factory before it was shipped and they forgot to uh, set the defaults. So due to that same reason, I'm going to scan a set default barcode here just to make sure my scanner is back to factory set defaults. And I've worked through two ADF barcodes. And ADF stands for Advanced Data Formatting. And this just basically tells the scanner how to grab the data of the customer barcode, parse it out, send it to the printer, and be able to go right to uh, printing a label. So now that our, our printing is done, I mean our, our programming of the printer is done, I'm just going to simply disconnect that because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to scan the customer code, and as I scan the customer code, 
uh, should be able to get a quick printout of exactly what the customer wants. And this is all without the use of a PC or laptop. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.